Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, we are doing update number two, dose on the uh, Red Lemon, uh, the wife's C5 Corvette. If you missed the first one, we just got her on the dyno. She's not making good power. We're suspecting that there might be a cap failure, and uh, we're going to pick up right from there. expecting out of this thing and then we blew a coupler off and it was like we're calling it quits um, I think that we got a couple other things that need to be fixed on it the converter it just like blows right through it but I did lock it up and it didn't blow through it then so it could just be way oversized for the application the power band being a little low concerns me so one of the things that we did notice is that there is a cat on here or at least we think there's a cat on here, and we're curious if a cat's clogged. So we're gonna find out right now. Um, it's not the prettiest sight under here, but it goes all the way back to the turbo and should be making powers, and it's really not. So we're gonna find out if that's an issue or not. Let's if see. I lower the car down, it Is there anything in there? I can't tell if that's... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I could zoom in. That's a cat. That is definitely a cat. It looks like it might be freed a little bit. So maybe it's clogged. We're gonna have to address that. So we replaced the cat and we're making good numbers now. Now we're at where we're supposed to be theoretically, like 420, we just put down 417 and I didn't even rev it all the way out. It made 500 foot pounds of torque. The wife is gonna be uh, scared of this thing now. Finally. Ha -ha! So there it is. The results are in. She's above the 400 mark and 500 some foot pounds of torque. That's pretty awesome. The the power band comes in a little bit strong. I kind of try to lessen it out for the final stuff. So it looks uh, a little bit smoother for her and uh, does well. I took a little blip out of the top end here after the fact, but this is pretty cool. Wife's going to have a pretty fast daily now. Holy shit. Well, everybody watch out. So we're finally making good power here. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm really excited for her to have it back, but I'm also scared at the same time because let me put things in perspective um, Power to weight wise like this is pretty good the uh, The car that she's used to is a Volkswagen Atlas and that weighs 4,500 pounds the Corvette weighs 3,000 pounds now so if we do the uh, the math on this the Corvette has uh, has about 535 uh, engine horsepower right now, where the uh, Atlas has 260. If you do the math on that, you have 5.6 pounds per, uh, or 5.6 pounds per horsepower on the Corvette, and like 17 and change on the uh, the Atlas. That means that the Atlas would have to be three times more powerful. She'd need an 802 horsepower Atlas to be as fast as this C5 Corvette is, even though the C5 Corvette's not making, you know, crazy power. So, good luck everybody on the road that's going to share it with her. Holy shit, watch out. It's the wife's first day of driving her Corvette to work. Hopefully we don't get a phone call. So I've come home to the wife having, like, crashed the Corvette. I don't know how much damage is in there, but I cannot get the uh, car seat to move because it is stuck in between the wall and the Corvette. Yep. So, the wife, now I've made a little bit of a mess, the wife was a little uh, 
upset about all the gauges kind of blinding her. So I got rid of the gauges and I temporarily put the most important ones down here. Uh, I also kept the, uh, the wide band up. It's not a very good wide band, so it's going to get deleted. I just didn't uh, want to delete it until I'm done with the tuning process on it. I uh, fixed up a lot of stuff on this car and uh, got the AC working now, although the blend door doesn't work, so it's like constantly on the uh, wrong thing. And uh, one of the things that I notice is that the, uh, um, the turbo system has its own, uh, its own oil system, and it sometimes doesn't prime properly. Sometimes I have to shut it off and do this, and see now it's making pressure, and then I'm good. So that's unfortunate, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of that at some point, or I'm just gonna rip it off and make it naturally aspirated. I mean, truthfully, this is more power than my wife needs, but you know, it's not enough power for me. So for her so I guess that's what we'll do or she did talk about the idea of trading it in for something else like a CTSV although she's not happy with the gas mileage on this so I doubt she'd be happy with the gas mileage on that uh, but I, I'm tossing the idea around maybe she wants a 6th gen Camaro SS we could be Camaro buddies that'd be cool so here we go again I think this is the Technically, it's the fourth time that this car's on the dyno, but like, it's the third time since it's been uh, the wife's car. And like the first time, let's see, the uh, we suspected the cap fail there. Earlier in this video, we uh, uh, dynoed it, but like boost was dropping off. It spiked the boost and dropped down. And now I've made an adjustment to where the uh, um, the turbo is getting its uh, uh, reading from, the pressure reading for the wastegate, and I think it's going to hold the boost out better. Also, I fixed the boost controller because the boost controller wasn't working before. We were just stuck on low boost. And now we're going to find out what kind of power she actually makes or we're going to send it to high hell. One or the other. In other anyway, it's going to be a good video, so let's find out. The rod's coming through the block. I didn't say no. <laughs> but it's a red C. Whoa. This is either really good editing or there's actually two cars. You all decide. I have a feeling that we're not that good at editing. <laughs> just, just a feeling, a hunch, if you will. I might be doing the editing and I have a hunch it's, we're not good at it. <laughs> It is 524 rear wheel horsepower and 556 foot pounds of torque. Kind of desensitized it a little bit, coming or not desensitized, detuned it a little bit coming in to make it a little flatter and easier. And uh, yeah, she's looking pretty damn good. I I think the wife is going to kill someone. And after all those dyna pulls, we still have oil pressure. She's alive and doing well. That's fantastic. I am seeing that the oil pressure for the turbo system is uh, kind of getting a little wonky, unfortunately. Like, what the hell? Zoom in. It's like really bright. But you can see that it's dropping down. It's zero now. That sucks. So we got to look into that. So we can't even take it out on the street to rip around on it anyway. Okay, I can't help myself. We're, uh, going for a little ride real quick just to feel how it does on higher boost just real quick okay we got some shift point tuning to work on was that first or second oh got a light out Shit! So 
So guys, one of the things I noticed well out for the street tuning was that uh, the converter sucks. It's totally trash. And we kind of figured that on the dyno because it wasn't making any power, but when we locked it up, it like really picked up. Well, on the street, it feels the same way. It feels like the converters get into like 200 horsepower and giving up unless it's locked. I kind of have a feeling that it's just some really piece of shit converter in there. And uh, it's just not doing good when it's unlocked. As a little hack to test this out, uh, I did command it to lock up in second, third, and fourth. So if you watch the video, you see the moment it hits second and it locks up, holy shit, it jumps like 20 miles per hour. The car does feel pretty raunchy when uh, when you're doing that. In fact, uh, on the street, uh, I didn't get a video of this going any, any faster than the speed limit, but I can tell you that probably around like 80 or 90 miles per hour this thing starts going sideways because it is making some good power now and it's pretty wild. Um, I think the next steps for this car are going to be fix that converter, probably throw a stock one in. It's got a stock camshaft. Um, it's the wife's car. It doesn't need to be anything stupid like for the track or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of skip over getting like a, a, a built converter that's like a high stall or any crap like that and just go back to a stalker and I think that'll be really good drivable car. And then uh, we're going to fix whatever oil pressure issue, ugh, fix whatever oil pressure issue we have on the, uh, the turbo side. And uh, finally, um, address the, uh, uh, the gauges and whatnot and get them like all tidied up and ready to rock and uh, maybe get the blend door fixed. And really just make it a nice looking car. Probably gonna end up having to sell it anyway because she, I think, is looking for a CTSV now, uh, and uh, uh, she's been sad about like missing her Atlas. So we'll close out now by having Kristen read some comments from her Atlas Lemon Law video. Uh, they're pretty funny, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Yeah. So you started reading the comments? Yeah, some people are so mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> Some people are so mean about me, but then it's funny whoever John Ben Coleman no, is. No, she's got a problem because he's got a shitty ass hairstyle and looks like you don't want to comb his hair. He looks like a walrus with a comb. <laughs> I love how all the people though are like, I'm just with you for your money. Like, I have my own job. I work 40 hours a week. How we make money? I'll be the one paying out. Yeah. That's because you're the breadwinner. And I'm just the trophy husband.